Hello everyone, this is Gemini Jets 1975 coming at you with a video of the um, April 2016 Gemini Jets releases. And depending on where you are or what kind of airport you you have, that would depend on how you view these releases. Um, so anyway, let's get started. First we have the in Gemini Jets 1 to 400, we have the Airbus A320 Aer Lingus, registration EIDEK, retail for $39.95. And of course, there is the model. Look at that. If I had a European airport, this would be pretty cool. I would love an Aer Lingus uh, 757, though. So, although. I don't know, A330 might be pretty cool too, but I love the 757. Next is the American 767-300ER. That's N393AN, retail $45.95. And if American wasn't retiring these really, really fast, I'd probably get them, get one rather. But I also have the 777 and the 787 already, so... I don't know. And then when the A350 comes out, I'll probably get that. But I love the 767-300 also. So, but anyway. Next we have the Atlas Air 747-8F. Registration N852GT. Retail $57.95. And that is a very cool model. I don't know. I might get that. Tell me what you guys think. Should I sell the Cargo Lux 748 with the bomb landing gear and get this? Or should I keep the Cargo Lux 748? It's a Phoenix model, by the way. Or should I keep it and not get this? So tell me what, your, what you guys' opinion are, is, whatever. Tell me what you think and let me know in the comments. Next is the Delta Connection Embraer R170. This was actually the first Delta Regional jet I ever got. Um, I would get this in a heartbeat, but I have the Herpa version already and I'm totally happy with that. So I really don't think I have any reason to get this. So, but this would be. Totally, totally cool if I did not have that, and I would be getting that in a heartbeat. Next is the 800th Emirates A380. Real Madrid. This is probably really cool, though. A6 EOA. Yep. I think when... Um... Gator Boy Aviation did one of the reviews on his Airways magazine from a few months ago that this was on there. So, um, and they're now making a model of it right after it came out. So, but yeah. Anyway, next we have the Qantas seven thirty seven eight hundred Retro Rue two VHV XQ thirty nine ninety five. And if I had an Australian or an Oceana airport, or even, yeah, I would get this, but that would look totally out of place at my airport. Next, we have the Thomas Cook A330-200 GTCXB, retail $46.95. Very, very nice. For the uh, European slash UK airports, this one would definitely probably be either a clo pretty close to a must have for a lot of those for a lot of you guys. So yeah. I could get a Thomas Cook, but and it would not be out of place, but um I don't know. Now this one, the Valaris A three twenty one S XAVLH. This would not be out of place at my airport whatsoever. 
Um, I do not have a Volaris model as of yet. I do have an Interjet and an Aero Mexico. Uh, this would kind of complete the uh, the Mexican trifecta, Mexican carrier trifecta. I have Tam and uh, Avianca for Latin America or the other part of Latin America because Mexico is Latin America. Okay, South America. And, but I do not have a Valeris model. So let me know what you guys think about that one. If you think I should get the, the other question, of course, was about, um, just a second, about the Atlas Air, if I should get rid of the Cogger Lux 748 and get this. And then the, the second question is about the Valeris. All right, that does it for the 1 to 400. Now let's do the 1 to 200. So we have the same registration on the Atlas Air. This is 748 Atlas Air uh, 1 to 200. Very nice. And that retails for a whopping 171.95. Next is the Iceland. This one, the Hecla Aurora, it has been said by Gemini Jets on Facebook that this will be in 1 to 400 next month. So this is another reason I'm really not completely anxious to get a model this month because this would be incredibly cool. I'd probably have to route it through Boston or New York or even Orlando. So... And then this one right here, the JetBlue Embraer 190 N231JB. This model is wow. Uh, when they make this in 1 to 400, it's going to sell out. You're going to want to get one. You're going to want to pre order it uh, ASAP because this is going to be a fantastic model. So. Just a heads up. And more than likely, it's either next month or the month after, I'm pretty sure. So um, if they're going to release the Iceland Air, maybe they'll release the JetBlue also. Now we have Lufthansa Cargo 777F D Alpha. That's interesting registration. Alpha, A-L-F-A, -A, that is. That's pretty cool. Lufthansa Cargo. So those of you that want a cargo airport, that's, well, this is 1 to 200, though. Never mind. Scratch that. United A320 in 404 UA. 85. That's pretty cool. So this is probably going to come out in 1 to 400 pretty soon also. They don't always go directly from 1 to 200 to 1 to 400, but... They have not made one of these in a very long time, so it's only logical. C-17 Globemaster III, Mississippi Air National Guard. Very, very cool. I got U.S. Air Force, Mississippi. Very nice. Last but not least, the Virgin A340-600 G Vale, V-E-I-L. That is one long airplane, people. So, yes, definitely. Okay, guys. That basically does it for the April releases. Tell me what you think. I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to say I think it's totally awesome and I don't think it's totally horrible. It's just not one of those, holy moly, I'm going to go bankrupt if I take advantage of this, but, um, yes, I know, whatever. Anyway, I better get going guys. So thank you so much for watching. Please like comment and subscribe. Tell me what you think about the releases and answer those two previous questions for me. Thank you very much. And you guys, uh, see you guys in the next video.